Hi there, my name is Mike from Contrica.com, and what we're going to do today is we're going to create a new Xcode project and build a tab bar controller using the image, images generated from Pink Code 3. So I'm going to create a new single view application. I'm going to name it tab bar project and start cleaning up my initial scene. So I'm going to delete the first view controller in my scene and the generated view controller class that's by default into my scene. And let's close this panel over here. Add a new tab bar controller over from the side. And let's create a new file, which will be a Cocoa Touch class of type UI tab bar controller, and I will name it tab bar view controller. Next and create. Once I created my class, I'm going to go back over to my scene, zoom out so I can see a little bit more, and click the tab bar controller. I'm going to set my class to the class I just created and set it to the initial view controller. So when I launch my app, this will be the first screen that runs. Going back over to my tab bar view controller, let's start doing our code. I'm going to clean this up a little bit, get rid of some of the distractions. So inside my view did load, what I need to do is I need to get all of the items that are inside my tab bar controller. So I do that by doing an optional or getting an optional if let tab bar items equals tab bar dot items. Since tab bar dot items is an array of UI tab bar items, but it is an optional, so I have to unwrap it for item in tab bar items. So now I'm iterating over each of the items in the uh, array of tab bar items. And I'm going to create a variable right here that will uh, get the index of the current item inside the tab bar items. So let item index equals tab bar items dot index of and this will be item. This is going to return an optional, so I need to use the banged uh, mark to unwrap it. And down here, I'm going to create a uh, switch statement of the item index. And what that lets me do is I'm getting the index number for the current item in the tab bar items list. And if that is the first item, the second item, the third item, then I'll be able to set the image and selected image uh, of that item depending on uh, its item index. So from here, I'm going to do case zero. So if this is the first item in the array, then item dot image equals. Now this is where I have to import my style kit class. So from here, I'm going to open up my finder. I have an, a style kit class that I already exported earlier. And this is available for download on my website, Contraka.com. Going back into my view controller. And I should be able to access the style kit class now. Dot image of. And my first icon, I'm going to do image of home and the lined version of it. The item dot selected image equals style kit. So if this image is selected, or if this tab bar item is selected, then I want it to be uh, an image of home, but the filled version of the line. Let's do the second item, case one. So this is the second item in the list, item dot image equals style kit dot image of, and let's do the uh, box, but the lined version, item dot selected image equals style kit dot image of and let's do the box filled version and I'm going to create a default case here item dot image equals style kit dot image of and let's do the gear line fill when it's not selected item dot selected image equals style kit dot image of the gear filled and that will pretty much wrap us up for that. 
I'm gonna go back to the main storyboard. And what I wanna do is, just so we can see that it's switching, I'm gonna select my first uh, view controller that's uh, of my first item. I'm gonna change the background to, let's say, this blue here. And the second background of the second view controller will be, let's make it a darker blue here. All right, so I'm gonna change my simulator over to the iPhone 5 so it's nice and small and start running my project. I'm gonna open up the simulator over here and wait for the project to load. The first run of a simulator is always a little bit slower, so this might take a little bit more time. Here we go. So as you can see, the when the item, the tab bar item is selected, we have the filled version. And when it is not selected, we have the lined version. But when I select the second item, it converts to the filled item. And the same thing over here. Now, what happens if I add another view controller? So let's go over to my main storyboard, add another view controller. I'm going to right click and dra uh, drag from my tab bar view controller over and down to uh, my new view controller and add a relationship segue. What it's going to do is it's going to add a third item. And now when I run the app, should be a little bit faster this time. It's going to call that default section, which I believe was the gear that we set. So item one, item two, and the default version over here, which we didn't assign a background color. So each one, I can select and assign the images from paint code three. I hope this video was useful. Subscribe and visit my website at www.kondrika.com. You can download the project files and the icons that I have used in this project. Thank you for watching. Bye.